Hi guys, uh, good morning and uh, let us uh, take a look into the stock radar for today and what is the American market performance, what is the front flow and all. So let us take a look into our Indian market performance uh, before our uh, Indian market opens. So before going to that, let me give you a disclaimer that the content we are discussing is only for educational purpose. It is not a buy or sell recommendation guys. So let us take a look into the stock radar for today. Uh, easy trip planners will be in focus because uh, the promoter uh, Nishant Pretty is likely to sell up to 8.5% stake or 15 crore equity shares in easy trip via block deals. So uh, the promoter is like is uh, likely to sell 8.5% stake in easy trip planners because of that easy trip planners will be in focus. Then comes uh, KIC International, uh, the uh, RPG group company launched its uh, QIP issue on September 24th. The floor price has been fixed at 976.64 per share. So because of that, uh, KIC International will be in focus because they have opened uh, the QIP uh, on September 24th. So because of that, it will be in focus. Then comes Hindustan Foods. The company has initiated the merger of its soaps, spices and uh, seasoning manufacturing facility in Nashik. So because of that, Hindustan Foods will be in focus. Then comes Mukta Arts. The company has executed an assignment agreement and a term sheet with G Entertainment Enterprises for assigning assignment of satellite and media rights of its 37 film for 6 years. Because of that, Mukta Art will be in focus because they are like you know going with uh, uh, G Entertainment for satellite and media rights for 37 films for 6 years. So then comes Tata Power Company. The company reported a fire incident in the control room of unit number 5, 500 megawatt unit after Trombi plant on September 23rd. The cause of its cause of the fire is currently under investigation and no injuries or loss of life have been reported. So thank God. So like you know, whenever uh, kind of a fire incident happens, so uh, there are no loss and there are no injuries. There are no injuries, so it's fine. So still like you know, there is some kind of an investigation going on. Whatever happened there, so uh, hopefully like you know, uh, there are no such. Uh, losses of life or no injuries happen. So then comes HDFC Life Insurance Company. The board will meet on September 27 to approve the commercial terms for the proposed issuance of non-convertible debentures. Because of that, HDFC Life Insurance Company will be in focus because they are going to meet uh, to approve the proposed uh, issuance of non-convertible debentures. So then comes Gillette India. Distributor uh, Procter and uh, Gamble Bangladesh as uh, terminated the distribution agreement with Gillette India effective December 31st, 2024. Due to uh, this termination, the company will see a, a proportionate drop in net sales under this agreement. Because of that, Gillette India will be in focus. Then comes Delta Corp. The board has approved the demerger of the company, hospitalities and the uh, real estate business via composite scheme of agreement arrangement. Delta uh, Penland, a subsidiary of Delta Cup is newly incorporated company that will carry on the hospitality and the real estate business. As for the share entitlement ratio, Delta Plant, uh, Delta Pina, Finland uh, will allot a one may equity share for every one equity share held by eligible share, shareholders in Delta Cup. So basically, like you know, Delta Cup is going to demerger uh, of its. Uh, hospitality and real estate uh, business into the Delta Pen Penland. So Delta Penland will allot one share equity held in Delta Cup. So then comes G Media Corporation. The board will meet on September 27 to consider raising the funds through the issuance of a permissible instruments or securities in one or more tranches via private placement, QIPs and uh, professional issuance or any other method. So because of that, Z Media Corporation will be in focus. Please keep a close eye on all these stocks. So let us uh, wait and see how these stocks are going to perform in the today's day of trade. So let us take into the fund flows. So yesterday, like you know, DS uh, FIS are the net seller, 2,784 crores they sold. And uh, whereas in the case of DS, they bought 3,868 3, crores net worth in the cash segment. So as of now, our Nifty uh, market seems to be outlook seems to be positive so yesterday it has closed 0 point it's kind of a flat flattish closure marginally positive uh, but like you know a still outlook remains positive and uh, it is moving towards uh, 26,000 level guys so let us take a look into the american market performance as of now 
Yesterday, American markets were both Nasdaq and Composites are as close positive. Uh, even like you know, the same thing applies for India as well. Uh, let us take a look into the uh, Gift Nifty performance. What Gift Nifty is indicating for our Indian market open? As of now, Gift Nifty is trading at 0.02% uh, negative. So we can also expect our Indian market to be open uh, a flattish uh, positive or a flattish negative price. So uh, that's all, guys. Thank you, thank you so much. If you have any concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you like my content, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Thank you.